welcome back. So today we're going to be asking the big question, the one that I've seen all over my channel, and that is, is it possible to actually make money running a bar here in Thailand? Can you make enough to actually support yourself while you're here? Anyways, let's get into the video. But the short answer is yes. Yes, you can make money and be very profitable opening a bar here. I do say you're very, you can be very profitable because there is such a low operational cost to all these types of bars. But with that being said, there is a lot of risks that come with that. You know, a lot of people do lose money and lose their business because they do make several mistakes. You know, the one thing I've seen is people drinking their own stock. Thinking that you're going to open a business, come here and then drink for free is an easy way to lose all your money. Now that's true whether back in America or Canada or here. But I have seen it happen. The other one is hiring bad staff. Getting a bad manager or bad girls working for you, you know, they're going to really be the backbone of your operation. And if you have bad people working for you, they're only going to cause issues. And then the next one is really slow season. The low season here is very, very slow. And so it's going to be hard to stay operational. So you really have to plan for that in advance so that you know you can stay in business during the slow season. Now, obviously, the last one is having a good Thai partner. Obviously, you've heard the horror stories of guys losing the entire bar to their Thai partner. And that can happen. I've talked in other videos about how you can safeguard yourself from something like this happening. And if you do want to check those out, that'd be great. But that is something that you do have to worry about. And even from an operational standpoint, you really do need to have a good Thai partner to help you run that business. But anyways, this video is not about guys who lose their business or how to lose your business. This video is about can you make money running a bar here? So let's get into it. The number one bar that people come, that foreigners come and open is a lady bar. You'll see those a lot in Patti especially and Bangkok. There's a ton of lady bars and a lot of guys go there and open a lady bar because they can make you a lot of money. It's especially down in Pattaya, it's very, very busy. There's a ton of customers. And so you can make a ton of money doing that. And now in Chiang Mai too, these areas are very, very busy. And there's a lot more money to be spent in the lady bar areas than maybe there are in the others. But the one thing you have to think about when opening a lady bar is they are going to have higher costs. They, are, they have the highest earning potential, but they also have the highest risks. They can lose the most amount of money. For instance, our bar in the Loic Club Boxing Stadium We've made upwards of two to 300,000 baht a month during the high season in profit. And I know the bars down in Patia make even more than we do up here. The problem with Lady Bars is it really depends on the staff. They can be very, very profitable, but you need to find a good staff. You're going to need to find at least 7 to 10 girls to come and work for you. And if you have a bigger bar, maybe even 15 to 20. So that's a lot of people to find to come and work for you. Then you're also going to need a manager as well as a bartender or two. For an average daily rate for these girls working in one of these bars is around 200 baht. Then you have the bartenders. And they range from 7,500 to 10,000 a month. And finally, a manager being 12 to 15,000 a month. So you couple that with rent, which in our area is 20,000 a month, and utilities, your operational costs are only going to be about 100,000 baht a month. So it's not really hard to make profit when that's the line that you have to reach to make any money. Now, lady bars really do rely on the staff. You need to have a really good manager and a really good staff working for you, as they will be the driving force on whether or not you make money, whether or not people want to come to your bar or go somewhere else. You know, for instance, I have a friend who owns a really successful bar in the area, and she'll tell me that on a good night, she can make over 100,000 baht. So she can be very, very profitable, but she is a well-established bar, and she is a Thai woman who manages the bar herself and is really good at bringing customers in. So it really depends on the staff that you get. If you can find a really good manager and a really good staff to come work for you, you can be very profitable. Now, this is not a type of bar that I would recommend for a first-time bar owner or somebody brand new to Thailand. It's going to be a big challenge because of finding those people to come and work for you is going to be the biggest hurdle you're going to have to overcome and the biggest thing stopping you from making money. I think it's a lot easier to open a different type of bar, maybe a smaller bar with one or two staff, and then if you want, opening that bigger bar later. And now that really gets me into the other type of bars that kind of people can open. The smaller bars with a few staff and that are not really lady bars. Now these smaller bars can actually be very profitable. They often have less staff being two to three girls and maybe a bartender slash manager. And that manager is usually the girlfriend of the owner, but that's not always the case. Now these kind of bars don't always rely on lady drinks as much as the lady bars. And so you'll be paying your staff usually more, maybe five, six hundred baht a day, comparatively to the two to three hundred I said in the other bars. And then you have your one manager, and that's it. Also, the rent in these types of bars, if they're not in a super, super busy area, are going to be less. Now, you're looking at fifty to 60,000 baht a month for your staff, rent, and utilities. 
So there's a lot less you have to make to actually be profitable. Now these bars can still be very, very busy and make a lot of money if they're in a good area. And so that is an easier option if you're looking to get into a bar, but not wanting to hire that big staff. Now these bars have lower overhead, so you're gonna be at less of a risk, especially during slow season. So that is a great option for somebody who's new to Thailand and wanting to open a small bar that's easier to run. And then also there are the different kind of bars, the bars that I'm not really as familiar with, you know, the Thai bars or the karaoke bars. Now I really know nothing about karaoke bars as that's something that kind of has a bad reputation, especially with Westerners. So I don't really know anything about that, but I do know from my partner, she owns a Thai bar and she said that she can be very, very profitable at that as well. So I hope that gave you some clarity on how much a bar can actually make. I think that if you do come here and want to open a bar, as long as you're smart and take the appropriate precautions, you can be very profitable. But please, if you do have any questions, you are able to book a call with me at any time or leave it in the comments below and I'll try to answer it. Cheers.